Welcome back to Switch to Linux. So we're doing a little tip here today that uh, I recently saw in a video by Joe Collins, which uh, runs a great Linux channel. You should go watch his videos over there. Um, but what he uh, was, uh, a comment came to him about uh, too difficult to add Google as your main search engine to Linux Mint. And uh, he told you one of the ways to put Google as a default search engine, but I thought there was a better way and uh, possibly uh, some more discussion to have on the matter. So I thought I'd just do a, uh, a tip and trick on, on what I did. So there is a little bit of a difference, I believe, between Linux Mint 17, uh, which Joe Collins actually used in his video, and Linux Mint 18, which is probably what his initial questioner uh, had actually tried to download and use. So I'm actually gonna show you Linux Mint 17 and Linux Mint 18. Um, and uh, Linux Mint 17, this is my actual usable computer that I do my, my real web design work on. So I have this pretty much set up the way I like it. My default search engine is IXQuick and um, usually in a stock Firefox program, if you click on this magnifying glass by the search, you can come down here and see all of the other options. Now it looks like I did not customize this quite as much as um, uh, quite as much as as I usually do uh, for whatever reason. Now I do not recall adding Google to this. Maybe I did, um, but overall, the best way to adjust your search settings is to come down to this change search settings. And then here you can add and remove things. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and clean this up now. Um, I wanna keep IX quick, start page, and Google. I do not want to use anything else. I like IX quick to be my uh, default uh, or start page. One of those two I would like to be my default. Usually start page more that IX quick is kind of merging over to that. Now here's where the difference becomes. On a stock Firefox program, when you hit this add more search engines, it goes to a place to search for uh, other search engines. On Linux Mint, they have changed this link so it goes to this page here explaining for them, uh, explaining to you why you have the various search engines that you have. Mostly coming down to this column here, these default search engines that they give you all fund Linux Mint. And that's a great thing, you know, utilize and support the search engine that uh, will help keep the Linux Mint project alive, which is good. And I'd actually, I'd recommend donating to the group anyway, and I don't have any association with them. But the problem comes in down here with the commercial engines. To add them onto Linux Mint, usually you need to come down here and click on the logo and then it explains to you why is it not used? So what can we do about it? Well, it tells you here, now you can come up to this spot here. And actually, I, I'm not using the most recent version of Linux Mint here, so it's actually a little bit, a little bit different. Um, but anyway, what I wanted to show you is, is uh, this page here. Now, major problem showed up that I found because uh, this is my, my web design computer on my laptop, but I also just last week built a new Linux Mint 18 box for my desktop, and I had to fight with this issue. So I'm gonna show you what that is. So we're gonna switch to Linux Mint 18 now. All right, I'm gonna go full screen with that. So now we are on Linux Mint 18. Um, so if you see the darker border up here, that's 18. I changed the themes around a little bit, but I've not, never customized any of these. I did change, let's see, did I change? No, I, did not, I didn't change anything. I just happened to go to start page here. So we're gonna go through the same process. We're gonna click on the check box here. And you can see these are the, the search engines they give you. Notice that they did not give you the ability to add Google, okay? Now, if you change your search settings, once again, it takes you to this page here, and then I can, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and change this now because I, I cannot stand Yahoo, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, 
So that's my default. If I just search, it goes by this guy here, whatever's up here. These are the available search engines. And then down here, I'm gonna click the add more search engines. Again, it takes us back to this Linux Mint page. And then if I want to add one of the other search engines, um, I need to come down here and click on the logo. Okay, so why isn't it here? It's telling you that Google just doesn't support the Linux Mint program, so how can you add it? Now we should be able to come up here and now we can add Google. But notice the problem I have. When it adds Google, it adds Google with the Linux Mint icon. Okay, that right there is the part they totally lost me. I do not want Google with a Linux Mint icon, especially if I go back to change my search settings and I want to add something else. It does the Linux Mint icon on everything. And so it makes it very hard to use whatever you would like to use. So here I'm going to add quant there. So now you'll see that I'm adding these different search engines. Yeah, maybe. It, I might be running into problems on my uh, virtual box. Okay, nope, nope, there we go. Oh, okay. I hit it twice, it, it went there. So now if I want to search for something, I can come down here. Okay, so it does actually give me the, the, the logo for Quant. I have no idea why it gives me the logo for Linux Mint for Google. And that kind of drove me crazy to start looking to see if there's a better way. Well, the better way is actually... When you go on to Firefox on most versions of Linux, Fire, um, uh, Mac or Windows, and you click on that button to get more search engines, it instead goes to the Firefox add-on page, which is right here. So the URL is just addons.mozilla.org forward slash, and then select your language. So I'm doing uh, English US, forward slash Firefox, and then search forward slash and then we just need to type in this variable which is question a type equals four just just the php variable that says we are searching for search engines now if i want to add google i can add it to firefox here i can also add anything else that might throw me a problem because i already had google up there but we'll see what that does let's have a look here so you click down here okay so now this is my google and this is my Linux Mint Google. I can add anything else that I would like to add from the main uh, search engine choice, but I have to go up and type in this variable and then I get everything working quite right. So I'll post this link in there. I just want to show you how you can add any of the search engines. Basically what this does is it goes back to the page it's supposed to go to. It's just that Linux Mint hijacks it. Is that enough for me to hate Linux Mint? No, not at all. The system just works really well. But I did want to indicate a way that you could get not just Google, but any search, uh, search engine. Now, of course, if you do go to Google, um, it will still give you the option here. So if you just go right to Google and hit yes, show me how to add Google, uh, and this is the option that uh, Joe showed in his video, it does tell you here, you just need to go up to the magnifying glass just to the right of the search bar up here, and then you should have, you should have an option there to add Google. Um, it might not be there because I've already added it, or if you're noticing that it does not give you the option, I thought I looked at that prior to doing the video, but. If it does not give you the option, your option is to go with this link here, the addons.mozilla.org forward slash um, your language, which in my case is English US, forward slash Firefox, forward slash search, question A type equals four, and then you can install any of the search engines that you could install on any other computer. So this has been Tom, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.